Okay, so I want to show you guys how I set up to do a two-sided engraving on a tumbler. So first thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and we will pull in the artwork that we're going to be using. And so you can see here I have the logo and then I have names. So the logo is going to go on the front side and the names are all going to go on the back side. First thing that you need to do is you need to go and measure the circumference. So that is measuring all the way around the cup. And then we're gonna use that to make a box. So in this, we have <clears throat> my cup is a circumference. And so it's actually gonna be the height because our box is vertical here. So you can see like this, because we turn the cups on their side to engrave them in the laser. So <clears throat> my height, is going to be 316 and then I also know that the total height or the width in this case because it's going to be this direction is 85 millimeters is what I have to engrave with so the other thing that we want to do so now we're going to go and we will take this box control C control V make a copy of it or you can do the clicks and then we're going to, you can actually do math in here. I found out this out the other day, freaking mind blowing. So divide by two, bam. There's the other box that we wanna put inside of this one. So it will actually snap at center point. And then I can use these lines as snap points for my designs. Okay, so with, with this second box in here, which is essentially half the distance. So if you could put the artwork on each end of it, it's gonna be on the opposite sides of the cup. We can use these as snap lines, so that way we can actually go and let's grab all this stuff, and we're gonna turn it sideways. Then we can use this guy, and it'll snap right onto the middle of that line. And actually, I like this. Uh, let's bump it up just a little bit. Maybe we're out right there. So that way the middle of the words are kind of in the middle there. Um, the other thing we want to do is actually let's grab these lines. And we're going to change them to blue and turn the output is off. So now we're ready. We can drag these names over here. I'm going to change them blue too. Other than the one that I'm going to use. Change that black and then drag that over here. It'll snap to the center there. Okay, and that's about it. So now you just go through the rest of your normal setup, use the settings that you normally use, but the way I do it, I start my start point down here on the cup, and then it will roll this direction to do all the artwork. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.